Alright, look, I'm just going to be completely honest here. People are stressing out way too much about their HSE results. This is not just another, you know, I'm not just the number or another uni student saying, oh, don't worry about your ATAR, nobody's going to care about it in uni. But instead, I'm going to give you some real talk and explain to you why you should not worry about the HSC results or your ATAR. So in Australia, the high school education system, parents, teachers, and even students, basically everyone has created this fucking toxic environment to cause ridiculous, unprecedented levels of stress, depression, anxiety, and all these other negative emotions that most of you are probably feeling right now. So the first thing I want you to do is get your head out of this deep, dark, evil, fake hole of how the HSE is everything, because it's not. You're probably thinking, what the hell is this guy on about? We just spent 12 years of our lives studying for this number and it's now going to determine our future. I need to get into blank course or else blank will happen. And I don't blame you. When I was in year 12, I thought the exact same thing. But seriously, looking back, this is the advice I'd give to my 17 year old self. You need to get your head out of this hole and start looking at the bigger picture. Stop worrying about these few numbers and start thinking about your future life. Discover what your passion is. I'm 23 and it took me until my third year of uni to even have the slightest direction in what I wanted to do. Okay, so I'm gonna break down why your HSE results are not that important. First, we take a look at why you think the HSE is important. I think there's two reasons. First, it's important because it helps you get into the degree that you want straight away. And secondly, completing the degree, you hope that it sets you up for the career that you want. Okay, so let's get into the first one. It's important because it helps you get into the degree that you want straight away. Okay, so you guys are, what, 17, 18? It's unlikely that you know what you want to do with the rest of your life. What usually happens is you think you know what you want to do, you start doing it, you kind of realize that it's not really what you want to do or you don't enjoy it anymore. You know, you know, in English, when you have a movie that you like, then you start analyzing it for an essay and you start hating that movie. It's like that. And that's completely normal. It actually happens to around one third of Australians. That is, one third of Australians end up changing what course they enroll to begin with. The other problem is with the straight away part, which is best explained with an example. Say you wanted to get into UNSW Law, which has an ATAR cutoff of 99, for example, but instead you screwed up and you got an ATAR of 70. What do you do? You do an arts degree at UNSW for one semester, get semi-decent marks, a 75 average is probably good enough, and you transfer into law in your second semester. And that's it. You lose four months of your time, but not really because those courses will probably give you credit as free electives anyway. And four months of your time in the grand scheme of things is nothing. It's less than the amount of time you spent from your last exam to when uni starts. So what I'm trying to say is there are multiple ways to get into the course that you think you want to do. Now, the second reason why you think the HSC is important is because completing the degree, you hope that it actually sets you up for the career that you want. And now this is a really funny thing. I'll bet that most of you have no idea what day-to-day -day activities are like for the career that you want to do related to that course. This was and still sort of is me. Uh, so let's say people who want to do engineering. Did you know that most of your day-to-day -day activities will be report writing and documentation? not the cool shit you see on your newsfeed. Actually, to be honest, I graduated with a Master's of Electrical Engineering from UNSW, and I still don't know what engineers do on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'd be pretty surprised if, if you guys did. You wanna do commerce or business? Heck, I still don't know what they do. I have one friend who just graduated from commerce at UNSW. He's now working in asset management, and his job is literally to call people and sell stuff to them exactly like how a telemarketer does. I probably know around 50 people who have started their own business and not a single one of them did a business degree. Law students, you think it's like the TV show Suits? <laughs> it's probably a shitload of reading contracts until you're sick. So what I'm trying to say is that it really encourage you to find people in that career that you want and really find out what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. 
Uh, most of my friends that graduated recently had no idea their careers would be so boring. So how can you guys be so set on a degree if you don't even know what the day-to-day -day activities entail? I mean, you're going to be doing this for the rest of your life. The second issue is our university education system has pretty much not changed in the last few decades. But the industries and the hiring system have changed drastically. The university education system is trying their best to keep up with it, but it can't. And what that means is most degrees you won't actually learn anything that will be directly applicable to the job. Instead, what it shows is that you can work in a team, literally from group assignments, which you're going to hate by the way, and endure a long ass degree. So you literally can't even solely rely on the degree anymore to get a job. The degree itself nowadays is becoming less and less important to being hired. In summary, you don't know what the day-to-day -day activities are. How could you know that's the career you want to do? Most uni degrees don't really give you the technical skills in emerging careers. So to be hired, you need to stand out from everyone else that completed the degree. All right, so let me summarize everything. You're hoping these results will get you into the course that you think you want to do, which isn't going to be what you expect and you realize it's not what you want to do anymore because that happens to about one in three people. These results aren't even important because you can spend a semester doing an arts degree, get decent marks and transfer into the course that you want. And then once you're into that course, you hope it'll get you into the career that you want, but it won't because the stuff you learn in uni isn't super relevant to your day-to-day -day activities. So you'll need to make, your stand, make yourself stand out through other means. You know, something as simple as working on your own project or making YouTube videos is probably good enough to make yourself stand out. The reality is we're all just fucking winging it. And we try to get as much information as we can about what course we want to do. And we're usually wrong. <laughs> Not only that, but to top it off, nowadays just doing the course doesn't help you get the career you want that much. I'm not saying start thinking about your future career now. The really ambitious and successful people probably will, but hey, the first two or three years of uni, I just partied all the time and I have no regrets. So just relax, get into any course in uni or TAFE or whatever, or don't go to uni at all, start doing your own cool shit. You know, I have friends that dropped out in high school and are now making six figures doing their own shit. I'll actually be interviewing them soon on my YouTube channel and also interviewing my friends who have graduated in the last year and now working full time so you can find out what their day to day activities are. I did want to keep this video short so I'll let you hear it from successful and experienced people to see what they have to say about uni degrees uh, with the links in the description. And just remind you, it's not the end of the world. If anything, it's the start. So get ready for the awesome and unpredictable life you have ahead of you. Try your best to stop stressing out. I know it's tough given the toxic environment that the system has created. But to help you guys, I've actually decided to throw a gathering with alcohol provided, depending on how many people rock up, this Friday afternoon near my place so that you can relax and drink your sorrows away. Peace out.